Hey there YouTube! So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own bottle cap template. There are some that you can find online, but I know some people are interested in making their own template. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first thing that you need to do is you need to open up your GIMP program. I already have mine open here. So then the next step is to go to File in the right hand corner, I mean left hand corner, I'm sorry, and then go to New. Now on these image sizes, you're going to input 1800 by 1200. The 1800 your width, 1200 your height. Now that's going to open up this square here, and this square, this size is formatted to fit a 4 by 6 photo sheet when you print your bottle cap images. So it's the perfect size. The next thing you need to do is go to the top and then select layer. Go down to transparency and you want to add an alpha channel. The alpha channel just makes your background transparent. That way you have the template on top and you have all your circles are going to be transparent so you can put your images in the back of them. So you're going to add the alpha channel. You won't instantly see a difference in your picture, but you'll see it later when we start to actually make the bottle caps. Um, so the last thing to do before we start making the bottle caps is to go over to the side and double click on your eraser tool. When you double click your eraser, it's going to pop up like your tool options box. So in here, the way that I make my bottle cap images um, is I erase circles. But I don't do it the same way that everybody else does. Some people get a circle template and they'll insert it onto their um, background and then they'll erase inside the circle. I think that's a few more steps than mine. So what I like to do, I just pop open my eraser tools just like so. You want to make sure that right here that it's 100% opaque. You don't want any um, any transparency there. You're going to click right underneath that. Mine's already selected here. Um, it has a big black circle as my brush. But yours might be empty. It might just be blank. You're going to click that square and it's going to drop open these options here for you. I'm sorry that my camera is not focused. I'm still trying to adjust the settings. It's stuck on autofocus and it focuses in and out. Um, anyways, you're going to select this um, circle right here that has a hard edge and it's the biggest circle that they have. That's the one we're going to be using today. And right under that, it says size right here. You want to make sure that the size of the brush is 300. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really in pixels, and 300 is like a one inch circle. So that's how big we want our bottle cap images. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to scroll down a little bit, and there's some check mark boxes down here. You want to make sure that you check mark where it says hard edge because we want a hard edge on that. We don't want any fuzziness around the edge. We don't want a blurry edge. We want a hard edge. So that's it. Then you're going to go ahead and hit close on these tool options. And then we're going to go and start making our bottle caps. So now I have this big circle here. And this is actually an eraser, but you know it works to do the bottle caps. Mine aren't going to be straight. You can take more time and make yours straight. I'm just pretty much going to show you how to make your bottle caps. So pretty much after this, all you have to do is line up where you want your bottle caps. And just click once and it totally erases the circle. So I'm going to do one in each corner. Like I said, mine aren't going to be straight. This is just for the purpose of showing you guys. Um, but you can line up yours better than this. And, like, obviously, <laughs> you'll make a really good bottle cap template. Um, it really is just as easy as clicking and going. And you don't even have to make yours straight. It really honestly doesn't matter because all the white background, you're going to cut out anyways. It's going to be part of your photo paper that you cut out. So see, as simple as that, and you have your bottle cap template. Now, if you want to go more, there's no edge around here. So your pictures are just going to fall, like... Um, flat in. Let me show you a picture here. So they're just going to go right behind that circle. But if you do want, some people like um, like a black edge around their circles so they can really define their bottle cap images. 
If you want to do that, that's fine too. I would still just do the steps like this, just erase your circles. And then you can just go to Google and you can type in transparent circle. And it'll pop up transparent circles. You can save it to your computer. And then just open it as a layer, which I already have here. And you can just click on the resize button, your scale button. And right here in this little box, input 300 by 300, which as I mentioned earlier is the one inch circle. So we're going to do that. Oops. I don't know why it's not saving, but let's go 300 by 300. And there's your perfect little circle. And you can just slide that right over your um, your bottle cap circle to have like a nice black edge. You, it's really hard to see on this computer but it's there. <laughs> and then you can just click it and just copy it and just drag all your little circles on top of the bottle cap um, where you made your eraser, eraser mark. And that will really line all your um, bottle cap circles. Like I said this is optional. Some people like that nice crisp clean edge of the black. Um, so that it can define their images like that. So that you can see the smiley face a little bit better versus like this. I personally don't put the black line. I like my images just to flow straight to the edge. But it, it's really up to you, personal preference. So that is how I make my bottle cap templates. And then I just save the file. And then I just open it back up every time I need to make a bottle cap uh, sheet. You can make larger ones. Like I said, this is formatted to print on a 4x6 photo sheet. That's why it's um, the size that I uh, explained to you earlier. Um, if you have any more questions or you want me to show you how to do anything else, uh, leave it in the comments section below. And as long as I have the supplies or the tools to do it, I'll definitely make you a tutorial. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.